What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future ratings. This is free general collective rating for all signs, caps, and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective rating. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so uh, I received another channeling. I'm going, to, I'm going to deliver it. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, a um, masculine energy lied to his karmic he's currently with. I heard has a child with. Um, I didn't hear a sign on him. I just heard masculine. Um, lied to his current partner that he's currently with and said that he was married in the past, but the karmic has found out that he is not married, that he's not married. So he, um, she pressured his family and him into a marriage. Um, he is in severe, uh, regret and he is miserable and he wants to get out. That is what I heard. What the hell's going on in the energetic space? Just saying, just saying. You plug it in how it resonates. So it's a masculine energy. He's he's with somebody right now. I heard a karmic though, so she doesn't uh, mean well for him or the situation. Um, she's probably a may, she might be an energy sucker or or a money muncher or something of that nature. But she is definitely a karmic to him. That's I mean that's what I was picking up. She's definitely a karmic to him and. Um, they already have at least one child together, if not two or two plus together. But she, he lied to her, though. He lied to her in the past and said that he was married to somebody else. But she has found out in the inter recent energetic space that he is not married. So I don't know how she found out that he's not married. I mean, she probably searched public records. Um, I'm presuming. She probably searched public records. Um, or what have you, what have you. But... That's what I would have done. Um, but anyways, she has found out he's not pre uh, that he's not married, though. So he did lie to her, and that's just damn true. Uh, he lied to her. He shouldn't have lied to her. But she found out he wasn't pregnant. Uh, not pregnant, sorry. Um, he wasn't married. So she pressured his family and him into getting a ma uh, married. So they're married now. So it's like legally married in the energetic space. But, um, he's miserable. And I heard he wants out. <laughs> That's what happens when you give in to social pressure of your family. That's why the hell I've been separated from mine for so long. And the thing is, is when my family goes into the court of law, my toxic ass older supposed sister and claims child abuse on my ass, how the hell do they ever think that I'd ever want to be a part of that family ever again? And that's just the truth. That's just for me. I can only speak for myself, not anybody else. But that's just the truth. There's no damn way I would ever want to communicate with any members of my toxic ass family again for that one reason. Because I am a great mom. I just am. I know I am. I'm not perfect, but I love my kids with every damn ounce of my being. And that's just the damn truth. Period. Point blank bar none. Period. Uh, and I know it. Because I have proven it over the years. And that's just the truth. Um, ball. College Academy, uh, NSLS, National Honor Society, I mean, basketball, football, softball, I mean, you name it, I have taken those kids too, and that's just the truth. Uh, tournament after tournament after tournament after tournament after tournament, weekend after weekend after weekend, city after city after city, and I ain't complaining. It was some of the best years of my life. But my point is, is this person, uh, my point is they shouldn't, this person shouldn't have given in to their societal pressure of their family. This masculine energy gave in to societal pressure of his family. He got married. Now he's miserable. He should have just told her no. And that's just the truth. Let me see if I hear anything else. It might it probably is because they have kids together. Is my presumptive logic reasoning on this? It's probably because they have kids together. 
It's definitely because they have kids together and societal pressure. And people know the truth. It definitely is because they have kids together, societal pressure, and because people know the truth. So that's confirmation. It's def So he did give in to the marriage because uh, it's because they are kids up. So she might be pregnant. She might have two or two plus kids. Kids together, societal pressure, and people know the truth. So that's why I gave in, but I heard he's miserable. Um, sir, if you're miser that miserable, you, I mean, I don't, you can take the advice or leave it, but hell, there ain't nobody crushing me into a damn marriage, and that's just damn true. Period, point blank, bar none. I've been married one time in my life, and it was one of the most miserable experiences of my life because of who I was married to. And that's the truth. Not all marriages are like that, and I know that. But my marriage was in, insufferable. I mean, in, insufferable. And I just mean it. You're talking about controlling and domineering. I'm just being for real for you. But I can only speak on my situation, not anybody else's. But my point is, you're pretty miserable too, sir. I believe in hashtag live, living free and for everybody. So. I mean, of course, you have the free will to get divorced. But the thing is, you do have mouths to feed. I mean, you have made these kids. So whether she's pregnant now or she's got two or two plus kids, you've made that free willing choice. But it sounds like you gave into societal pressure to your family. Um, I can't help that. Only you can make that decision to get a divorce. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm pulling this in. He sits and he cries a lot of the time. Thinking about how his life used to be. Oh my God, he sits and cries most of the time thinking about how his life used to be. Why am I pulling this dude in so strong? Holy shit. This sounds like a country song. Holy shit. He sits and cries and thinks about how his life used to be. Um, sir? Um, I'm not telling you what to do. It's not my place on here to tell you what to do. I think you might watch my channel or somebody you're connected to does. Maybe your toxic ass family does. Maybe your um baby mama or, well, apparently your wife does. Maybe she does. I don't know. But there's a reason I'm pulling it in. But my suggestion and advice, of course, you can take your leave it. Everybody who watches my channel knows this. You take the advice or you leave it. But if I was you and I sit and you were sitting there crying, and you're so miserable in this marriage, and you're thinking about how your life used to be, and you don't want to be married. Maybe you should make, try to make changes in your life to make it better. To where, I mean, I don't, I mean, I, damn. Maybe therapy, maybe counseling or something. If I was sitting there crying, thinking about the choices I made, which I have in the past when I was married to my toxic ass husband, and that's the truth, but that's the whole reason I got divorced. Um, I'd be making some changes, and that's the truth, sir. I can feel the, yeah, um, ah, yikes. I'm sorry, but, I mean, but you made the choice yourself, whoever you are. I mean, I just don't know what else to say about this. Holy shit. I'm not going to pull no cards. I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. Uh, A, B, F, C. A, B, F, C. A is an apple. B is in boy. C is in cat. F is in Frank. A, B, C, F. A, B, C, F. You plug it in how it resonates. A is an apple. B is in boy. C is in cat. F is in Frank. Uh, maybe that's an initial of your name, sir. 
first, middle, last initial, or nickname initial, or the, your baby mama, or toxic family, or a child or children, A, B, C, or F. You plug it in how it resonates. I'm getting out of this, man. This is sad. I'm sorry for whoever's going through this, but I don't even know what to say on this. And that's just the truth. Um, you kind of made the, the your bed and now you're lying in it. Um, I feel for maybe the reason I pulled this in is maybe some of you guys know this person. I think maybe some of you guys know this person is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Definitely know this person. That's confirmation. You definitely know this person. Okay. Well, sir, if you're sitting there crying every, I mean, I don't know if it's every day or every other day or how often you're crying there, sir, but maybe you should consider counseling or therapy, sir. I'm not telling you what to do. You have that free will choice to get counseling or therapy if you choose so desire to do so. But if you think your life is that miserable, that's what I would do. Of course, I've never put myself in a position to make my life that miserable. Um, that's why I got a divorce. Um, and that's just the truth. But, um, you know, of course, you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Love you guys. Namaste.